guys. Hello, Cancer. This is going to be your twin soul reading for, well, I was going to say for June, but no, it's going to be a timeless read. So whenever you find it, it's for you, Cancer. All right, I just finished Gemini. Mm -hmm. I've already created sacred space and asked for Archangel, oh God, my foot hurts. Asked for Archangel Michael to sit with us during this reading to protect our space. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, Cancer. My foot, I've been having some, <laughs> ooh, excuse me. Hmm. Some health issues with my foot, my left foot. I don't know what's going on with this. You know, the left side is our feminine side. Mm. I don't know what's going on with it. I've done everything to heal the feminine side of me. And I've created so much balance between my masculine and feminine. And yet, um, my foot has still been bothering me. I've been to the doctor <laughs> three times already for it. And... Now I have to see a podiatrist to figure out what's going on. They initially were going to do surgery on it, and now they don't know what's going on with it. So I have to go see a foot specialist because it just it keeps getting worse. I don't know what's going on with it. It's weird. So, okay. So I'm I'm... I'm always in pain with this foot. I've been dealing with it for like four months with no answers. <laughs> it's a little bit frustrating. But I don't worry because everything always works out for me, right? All right, what do we have for cancer? I'm using the Archangel Power Tarot cards. Be patient. I'm going to get some cards out for you and just lay them out. Everybody's getting this card. Gemini just got it. The moon. Secrets. Not revealing something. Keeping your hand to yourself. Not showing the cards in your hand. Seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely, Cancer. Have patience and wait for your harvest. Review. Review. <laughs> Review your progress and make plans for your next challenge. <laughs> so, big win in your twin soul journey, okay? Spirit is telling you to listen to your intuition. The moon card says it's Archangel Haniel, the moon. Um... It says you have an opportunity to improve your plans. They want you to listen to your intuition to get accurate guidance, right? And they're asking you to face your fears, Cancer, because you're at this point in your twin soul journey where you are going on to the next level. And in order to do that and to grow stronger, you're going to have to face your fears, okay? Your plans are coming to fruition right now in regards to your twin soul journey. You just have to trust. You have to trust. Um, trust yourself. Knight of Gabriel, confident, enthusiastic, courageous, and charismatic. It says it's time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. All right. So you already know instinctively where you need to go on this twin soul journey. Okay. So continue to use your intuition and to follow it. What do we have for cancer? Queen of Raphael.
Wow. At this time, I feel like you're You might be planning a trip. At the same time, you're in this weird stage where you're like wanting to build on your foundation. Like you want to travel, but you also want to create a home. Like you want to create like, for some of you, like you're creating this sanctuary, right? in your home so you might be like building an altar um something like that we're gonna get two more cards just getting cards out so i can get a storyline for you my, my freaking wrist hurts justice you have three major arcanas here cancer your twin journey is going exactly how it's supposed to go. And I think I'm going to get a wisdom of the night, wisdom of the house of night card for you to end your reading. I already know that. We're going to go into the message of love oracle after this. All right. So queen of Raphael. Um, let's see. Queen of Raphael is about following your heart trustworthy psychic information and i think it's really interesting cancer because you have two cards about psychic information so spirit is saying you can trust the guidance that is coming to you right now the psychic hits that you're that are pinging in your brain and in, in, in your brain in your brain and in your no your intuition doesn't come in your brain the intuition that is coming right now into your heart, you can trust that, okay? Whatever it is you're feeling in your soul, those little dings that you're feeling like you're getting information about your twin soul journey, follow that because it's accurate. You have two cards, okay? This says, Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, psychic. So it's divine feminine energy, kind, understanding, giving, psychic. So put your energy where it fits in. Okay, I'm just reading you the card. There's two dolphins on here. So that might be relevant to you. The High Priestess, Archangel Haniel. Okay, powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. So you know exactly what steps to take. You're just doubting yourself, okay? We have two cards of a divine feminine here, Queen of Raphael, the High Priestess. So if you are a feminine right now, your intuition is really heightened, okay? Um, your energy as a divine feminine is coming up as Queen of Raphael, the High Priestess, right? It's saying, th these are two cards of, of a very highly in-tuned feminine energy. Now, if this is, if you're a masculine and you're watching this, Put the energy, put the energy where where it fits in. Is this describing your counterpart? Is she kind, understanding, giving, psychic, um, powerful psychic insights? You know, she's your she's your um, she. Oh, what are those things called? I've just seen a video on it. And I can't remember what it's called. Um, There was, a, there was a feminine that was talking about it. She's your oracle, okay? That's the word I was looking for. Page of Ariel. Reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. An excellent opportunity offered, scholarships, or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. <laughs> so, some of you are really wanting to branch out. Um, you might be thinking about taking some night classes or some day classes something with regards to education i'm sorry you guys i'm a bit tired i worked all day today not all day i worked all day yesterday and i only worked a half day today but so 
So there is an opportunity that's coming in for you, Cancer. Um, for some of you, it has to do with the Akashic Records or something to do with books. We have four of Ariel. This is about balancing your energy, giving to receive. You have to learn to give first before you can receive. That's with anything you, you get. <coughs> mm. And some of y'all are having some major throat chakra issues. Ooh. <coughs> All of a sudden, I just got this. Mm. I get this feeling like almost like, oh my God, hold on. I can't even talk. This feeling almost like <clears throat> I couldn't speak. Like, mm, who you saw that. Like, it just couldn't stop coughing. It felt like there was a, mm, like there was a block, like a huge mm, blockage in my throat. I don't know, that was weird. Like all of a sudden I just couldn't talk. <laughs> some of you have some major throat chakra issues. You need to speak your truth, cancer. You just speak something out. Something needs to come out. <clears throat> I felt almost like I was choking. But I, I didn't have any, I mean, I didn't, I wasn't choking on my spit. It was weird. Like all of a sudden I just, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's weird. It felt like there was mm, like a spiky ball in my throat. Mm, and I, and I couldn't, I couldn't get it out. Like I was coughing, coughing, coughing. I don't know. That's really weird. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know why I'm apologizing. I'm not sorry. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> just the reading got interrupted. And for that, I apologize. I'm so sorry that your reading got interrupted. I feel like I was going to die. <laughs> it's weird. All right. Um, okay. So what I was saying was um, you have to give in order to receive. So if you are... wanting money you have to give money in order to receive it you know it's a reciprocated energy if you want love you have to give it if you want respect you have to give it you know you everything what you put out is what you get back okay my throat still feels awful <laughs> um we have 13 piece Archangel Ezreal, release the past. There is more enriching future coming. Let go. Um, you have to let go of whatever it is that is keeping you in this box, Cancer, this past energy in order to move forward in this twin soul connection there is a lot of clearing and releasing which needs to be done right we have justice so it's libra energy archangel ragiel <laughs> i don't know i don't get it It says R A G U E L, Archangel Ragiel. Ragiel? I didn't even know there was an archangel name that. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings are made in your favor. Don't give up. Don't give up. There's something that you wanted to give up on. I don't know what that is. You'll know what that is. Don't give up. Don't give up. If there's something in this twin soul journey, that's making you feel fed up and you want to give up on it don't give up it's worth it you know that it's worth it we have knight of ariel trustworthy understanding devoted and funny <laughs> i like that there is so much to accomplish make a very detailed plan 
being watched over by someone kind. Look. Take it how it resonates, Cancer. So at this time, you're accomplishing so much. You're on the right path. Um, follow the plan that you have set in motion. Follow your intuition. Just a little recap. Um, someone's watching over you. Okay. Someone's watching over you. It's, maybe it's your guardian angel. Maybe it's an earth angel. Don't know. All right, let's get some love messages for you. What else does Cancer need to know about their twin soul journey update? All right. Cancer. Mm. Oh, shoot. I almost dropped all the cards. Space. I need more time to think. <clears throat> Oh my God, some of y'all really need to clear your throat. I can't take it. I cannot fucking breathe. My fucking throat is closing. Space, I need more time to think. Commitments, I want you to be a part of my future. That makes no sense, Cancer. <laughs> Absolutely no sense. So the first card says space. I need more time to think. Second card says commitment. I want you to be a part of my future. So some of you are conflicted. It's like you want space, but you know, wow, shadow side, you made me realize my flaws. So your person took some time out, right, Cancer? Um, they realized that they want you in their life. They took space and they needed time to think. And possibly because you triggered them, you know, we have shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. So they may have, they may have um, realized some things about themselves through you're triggering and but that they didn't want to face right away 1737 on the camera unexpected outcome things didn't go the way I planned Ego, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Detachment, I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. So see, every single separation and I can't even pick these cards up because of my nails. I'm getting these nails taken off tomorrow, y'all. Um, I cannot deal with them. I love them. I think they're beautiful. My allergies are going crazy. I don't know. I'm sorry about the background noise. My kids are going crazy. Crazy. Um, I'm getting them taken off tomorrow. And I'm just getting a regular manicure. I don't know how women deal with these nails. They were okay for like the first week or so. And then as soon as they started to get longer and I needed a fill, they just started driving me crazy. And I was like, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to do that. So every single separation in the twin flame journey serves a purpose. Your person needed space. They needed that time to face their shadows. They needed that time to, oh, I cannot focus. They're t my kids are so loud. They needed that time to think. Um, they needed that time to realize that, you know, they were letting their ego get in the way. Um, they didn't see some of their flaws and their blocks. You know, there was an unexpected outcome. So things, maybe they weren't expecting to, to, to feel all of these emotions, all of this, these ego death and the shadow side right 
um, they had to detach because they needed to figure out what they wanted. And then, you know, they, all of that, that thinking and separation made them realize that they are committed to this twin flame journey. Okay. Ooh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I just bent this card. You guys are being too loud. Sorry, cancer. I'm not meaning to yell in your ear. What else? <laughs> sort of got in mom life. Time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. So, you know, your counterpart is, is worried. They're like, did I take too long to act because I was, I let my ego get in the way, um, because I was facing my shadows. Pretty much, they're just questioning, like, did you forget about them? Did you move on? Alright, we're going to get two more cards from here. Self-love. I'm still trying to heal. Um, your person is working on self-love, healing, but they don't run or run anymore. Self-love. I'm trying to heal. So they're doing some major healing cancer. And runner, I don't want to run anymore. But they're tired of running. They're tired of running. All right, we're going to do Wisdom of the House of the Night. One second. Okay. I am going to pull a Wisdom of the House of the Night card for you to close out your reading. Because I feel like you need a little bit of dark side right now, Cancer. <laughs> I don't know why I felt like that. You know, you're in the thick of facing your shadows. You might as well have some little dark side up in here. Right? Nothing wrong with a little darkness. A light cannot exist without the darkness, okay? And in, in all actuality, there's no such thing as light and dark. It's it's all perspective, right? Honestly, there's no bad or good experiences. It's how you perceive the experience. Everything is just consciousness, okay? I don't know. That might be too heavy for this reading, but... All right, last card for Cancer, please. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Cancer. And the twin souls that rely upon my guidance. All right. So we have denial. Wow. Number 14. Someone, I just told them to be quiet. And they are still being so loud and so disrespectful. I am so sorry. Someone is in denial about something. Take it how it resonates. Is This is either your energy or their energy. I don't know. Put it in where it fits in for you, Cancer. Um, I don't know what's being denied either. I don't. I really don't. There's a hand here and there's a moon tattoo on there. I don't know. I need a fill. So don't look at my nails. I'm getting them taken off tomorrow. But look, so here, it's a moon tattoo. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a moon. I feel like that'll be... <laughs> I just take off my glasses. I have old lady eyes. A moon with like a teardrop on it. I don't know. The moon to me is always like a symbol of cancer um, energy. Because Cancer is represented by the moon, also the chariot. So, I don't know. This could be your energy. It could be someone else's. Um, there is, let's see, so it's 14, it's number 5, which represents change. So, I mean, you could be, you know, in denial about some kind of change that's happening. Or, you know, your counterpart could be in some kind of 
denial about some change. Um, they, this hand is reaching for fruit, which they're reaching for grapes. I don't know. To, to me, it feels like one or both of you is like denying yourself like the sweetness, right? It's like wanting to reach out for the grapes, but not reaching out for the grapes. It's like denying yourself of the sweetness of the grapes. I don't know why, why I'm getting that. No idea what that even freaking means. So I hope it means something to you. All right, Cancer, I hope this reading helped. I love you so much. Mm -hmm.